Viewer's discretion. Before getting into today's video, please note that the animals seen here possess medically significant venom and should not be kept by the novice hobbyist. Attempts to replicate the action seen here or to own these animals should be considered thoroughly before doing so. I have many years of experience keeping arachnids with medically significant stings and bites, and while I'm excited to show you guys these beautiful animals, the last thing I'd want is for you to run out afterwards and purchase one without knowing the responsibility and risks involved. Please do your research and please exercise caution. Never handle these animals. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Friends, today we're doing an update video on all my scorpions. It's been some time and, well, they haven't eaten in a few days either, so we're gonna do a bit of everything. We're gonna take a look at how the animals are doing, and then we're also going to offer them some delicious Jiminy's, maybe something else. We'll see, so stick around to find out what. But first, before we get into those misters. They always know when to turn on. I mean, I kind of have to blame myself because I programmed them to do that at this time, but... Anyhow, okay, that's off now so we can continue. Before we get into that, I want to quickly let you guys know again that my name is Dion. I make videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any uploads that I post. I usually post about two videos a week, so there's plenty of content to watch, lots to learn about these incredible creatures. All right, everybody, so the first scorpions we're going to take a look at are my... Heterometris salinus. These were formally recognized as the Heterometris spinifer, but they're not actually. Um, these are different. I'm fairly confident, like there are some spinifer in the hobby, but I'm fairly confident these ones are the salinus. So have a good look. This one is quite large. You can see that these are their little enclosures. They're kind of, they have a little area to hide under there in the wood that they dug out. They have their water dish, some live plants, and yeah, they just do really well like this. Although this animal probably won't want to eat, looking at that voluptuous body. We're gonna offer them a cricket anyways and see what they'll do with it. Okay. Oh. Okay, oh. They got it. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Now they're eating. Oof, rough. Sorry, Jiminy. Okay, well, let's move on. Okay, now this one just recently molted and as you can see, it's quite feisty in comparison. And the body or soft tissue isn't as dilated, which really tells us that the animal is ready to do some eating. Another clear indication of this is how responsive they are to any type of movement in the enclosure. So if we go like this or like this, you notice right away they're after it. They want to eat. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and offer this lovely young scorpion a super worm. Another quick look at the enclosure. You can see it's nicely planted, some different plants. Water dish, dirty as always, because you always get it dirty, little one. But that's okay. It means you're happy and thriving, right? Yeah. All right, I got my container of 100 super worms. They've been gut loaded, fed them lots of fresh, dark, leafy greens, as well as some bee pollen. So let's go ahead now and see what this scorpion will make of a superworm. Here we go. Uh-oh. <gasps> here we go, here we go. They're definitely sensing it. They're definitely sensing its presence. Oh. He's looking for it. It's under the leaf! Now I have to try and get in here. Oh, okay, without the scorpion going crazy. Oh! Okay. Well, that worked. Yikes. Wow. Ouch. Look at those chelicerae go. Doesn't take them long to just pierce through. 
little bit of that extra stimulation just really gets them going like they they try to keep eating and subduing so sometimes i'll do that and they're like trying a little harder to chew and eat and do all that kind of stuff right because they think they're pretty struggling but anyhow we will let you do your thing very good very good enjoy your dinner Hey guys, so next we're going to be working with the same species, but these ones are my larger, closer to adult size animals. So again, Heterometris genus, Salinus. This one here is my female. We'll go ahead and see if she wants to eat. I'll be real, she's usually pretty dang shy. Doesn't usually eat on camera, but she has done it before, so we'll keep trying. Okay guys, so I got a superworm here. Let's see what she does. It would be so cool if you did. <gasps> no way. <gasps> no way. Oh my goodness, she actually took it. You guys have been watching my arachnid feeding videos the last while. You know that this scorpion never does anything. Ah, that is too cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little scared that now if we put the uh, wood back on, she's just going to drop it. But... <laughs> Oh, that's such a relief that she ate. Perhaps I should crack that statement. Took it. She hasn't actually eaten it yet. She just has it. But hopefully she will. Come on, girl. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Let's put the wood back and let her do her thing in peace. Okay. Now it's time to have a look at my male, who is going to be hiding in here. This enclosure is growing in really nicely. Plants are looking pretty solid. We got lots of that chocolate soldier. Some pothos cuttings. It's nice, you know, it accents the enclosure. You working on them having enough water helps promote the humidity. It just looks a lot better. All right, let's go ahead here. See if we can hopefully feed this animal. Please be nice. I don't know guys, we're doing okay here. We got three out of four of the heterometris eating, so maybe in business. <gasps> no way! What is going on? All right. I am telling you, I probably sound like a little complainer right now, but these scorpions never eat on camera for me. So I am a very happy camper right now. <sighs> Look at that, eh? Wow. Such an elegant animal. All right. Well, I don't want to disturb them too much. I'm not sure how we're going to get this wood back. <laughs> on here without messing the scorpion. Uh, let's see. I think if we just put it like that. Oh, cool, that works for me. They crawled right under. <laughs> awesome. Okay, everybody. So we're gonna kick things off here with a Centroides gracilis. I'm fairly confident this is a Centroides gracilis. This is the last remaining scorpion I have from my friend who gave me a few scorplings out of the uh, female scorpion that ended up in her suitcase when she got back from Costa Rica. Kind of cool. So we'll go ahead and see. Oops. <laughs> we'll go ahead and see if this animal is interested in eating on camera for us. All right. Oh my goodness. Gracious. Okay. Now that was intense. Wow. I barely got half of that on camera. Woo! <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Okay, now we're going to safely lower this down with tongs. Let them do their thing. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all, if you had to choose between owning a pet scorpion or a pet tarantula, which would you choose and why? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'll give you a comment at heart and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thanks. Okay, the next scorpions we're gonna feed here are the Hottentata friends Wernerii. These are a beautiful scorpion species. Let's see if this female is interested in eating. Hello there. Wow, she's stunning. Look at that granulated appearance. Really, really pretty scorpion. Okay, cricket goes in. Oh, 
Okie doke. There's the takedown, friends. Just like that. Envenomation and subdued. Takes a second. Gonna try and again do a little bit of manipulating here. Nope, not working. Let's see if we can stimulate the scorpion to uh, start eating. Sometimes it works. Yep, there we go. Kind of cool, right? All right, well, let's try the mail. Okay, so next up, as I said, is the male Hottentata friends, Werni Rye. There he is, in a cricket. It's in the water here. Oh my gosh. Wow, so fast. Oh my goodness. That is pretty intense. Yeah, that guy's not playing any games. Okay, pretty intense. So there you go, you can see how they just kind of walk around with their food. So we're gonna go ahead and put his hide back so you can feel a sense of security. Okay guys, so the last scorpions to be fed here are my Hottentata Jayakari, another really pretty scorpion. This is my female, who is pretty big. Holy smoke, she's big. Kind of questioning whether we should feed her. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea, but we'll give her something small. See if she wants a little meal, because it has been a long time since she's eaten. Like I said, we're not going crazy here, but just a mealworm. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that, eh? She lose interest, maybe. Which is totally fair, probably best to be honest. Uh, she looks very big, very chunky. Okay, I'm going to carefully turn this back over. And we'll try feeding the male. <laughs> Okie dokie. Move out the wood. There he is. Got a cricket. Now a little weight. Oh! Oh my goodness. There we go. That did not take long at all. Yikes. He got it, that's for sure. Okie doke. We'll let him do his thing. Let's get his uh, bark back in carefully. Never, ever, ever go in those enclosures with your hands. Just never do it. Not worth the risk. Even if you think you know where the scorpion is, just don't ever do it. Never going to be worth it, you know? Don't ever let your guard down. Don't think the animals are predictable. Just always use tools to go into their enclosure. Perfect. Okay, everybody, so the last scorpion we're going to be taking a look at in today's video is Achilles, who is my male Pandinus Imperator, which is the Emperor Scorpion. I've had this boy for almost four years now, longer than that, actually. Yeah, four, almost five years, and he's actually been a mature male that whole time. Things are a little different with scorpions, I find, but Achilles over here is going to be getting something a little different for his dinner. I'm going to be offering him a tomato hornworm. So if you take a look here, he's probably going to go crazy for this in a second. All right, guys, here it goes. Let's see what he does. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's got it. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe not. Hornworm is trying to get away. Achilles hasn't eaten in a few days, so I think he'd be pretty interested, but perhaps I've stressed him out by removing his hide. Well, that's too bad. 
I didn't expect you to be the one who's not gonna eat Achilles. It's always the heterometrist. Those Asian forest scorpions never eat. Not you, you always eat. Here, this is pretty big. I'll give it one more try, see what he does. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Okay, well then. <laughs> that is a turn of events. Oh my goodness, he's even going in for the sting. Oh my gosh, look at that. Achilles. Oh! Achilles! Oh my gosh. When do you ever see an Emperor Scorpion use its stinger? Not often. The mechanical power these animals have, they barely ever need to do anything with a stinger. Holy camoly, ca Achilles! Good sir. Oh my gosh, look at all the juice. Holy Achilles, that is intense. I think you're gonna need to hold that, dude. I know scorpions love to just put something in their mouth and walk around with it, but I feel like you might still need to hold on to that. No? Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, poor hornworm. Okay, well. We will let you eat in peace, and uh, I am going to put this wood back over top of your home, carefully. There we go. I think that's there. Perfect. I have some mail to unpack. We have this very special package, which actually comes from a very familiar face you may all hopefully be watching, my dear friend Cat, aka Tarantula Cat. So we're gonna open this, and then we also have some mail from a fan right here, Sea of Scales, who sent me some stickers. So let's go ahead and open these up, and then we'll go straight into the video. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna take a look at is this lovely gift from Sea of Scales. Unpack this. Ooh. So. How sweet. Thank you, Dion. So, thank you, Dion. I'm so excited to share some of my art with you. Thanks for creating beautiful and positive content for our community. I hope you enjoy the stickers. There's extra for sharing, Kiana. Thank you so much, Kiana. This is so sweet. I'm very touched. I cannot wait to get in here and see because I have seen some of your work and it's just phenomenal. Whoa, oh, this is so cool. And I just bought some frames, so this will be perfect. Look at these beautiful illustrations. We got the rubber ducky. We have the armadillidium kluge, Montenegro. There's a zebra, Porcilio lavis, Nasadum peach. And then of course the beautiful magic potion. Thank you, that is awesome. Here we go, some more prints. This is amazing, thank you so much. Okay, there's some more stuff in here. No thought, head empty. Ah, this is amazing. You gotta love frogs, this is, this is great. And look at this, I am the knight. It literally looks like Nona. How solid is that? Kiana, these are wonderful, thank you so much. And I think, I think that's it. Let me just, oh my gosh, I am gravely mistaken. There is a lot of stuff falling out here. Oh man, you're so generous. Okay, so we have some awesome Sea of Scales. There's SOS Exotics, sorry. Very cool, very cool. Here are some Isopod sticker packs. Look at these, this is so cool. Oh man. So it looks like these are all the ones that we had on those other prints, right? I don't wanna open it just in case, but yeah, so this is the stickers. You can see it's the isopods that were on that illustration. I'm definitely gonna have to do a giveaway with some of this because you guys deserve to enjoy these too. But with that all being said, thank you so much for these incredible free items. I love these, I can't wait to get them in frames and put them in my house in the reptile room. If you guys are interested, I'll have Kiana's links down in the video description so you guys can get your own incredible art from her. Thank you so much, Kiana, for these lovely gifts. Now, let's go ahead and open this package from Tarantula Cat. Be safe, friends. Don't do what I do. Don't be me, friends. Do not use little blades to cut boxes. Use safety. Okay. Oh my goodness. Cat, what is this? 
You did not have to do any of this. <laughs> That's Cat for you guys. Dion, hi. Oh, I love you, my friend. You're so sweet. Look at this, guys. I don't even know what to say. This is the coolest thing ever. Look at this chain. What? It's like an epic scorpion. Look at this thing. Cat, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And then we got a bunch of stickers. Look at, I, I need a wall for my stickers or something or one of those sticker collection books because I am spoiled with stickers lately. You guys are so generous. Look at all of these. I love it. Oh, cool. The camel spider. We got what looks like, in my opinion, an Androctinus australis. And then we got a beautiful velvet spider. Look at these beauties. And you can see all these animals on Kat's channel. Looks like chai. These are awesome. And then some epic tarantula cat stickers. Kat, thank you so much. This is so sweet. Oh, this is sick. I could be wrong, but this looks like it might be a glow in the dark sticker. Kat, thank you so much for these stickers. Also love how she just put all these little guys in there. Very on theme. Love it. And lastly, I have some idea. Oh man, she did. Guys. Friends, Kat sent me a Wednesday plush. I actually ordered one of these from her campaign, but I ended up giving it to a friend that I felt would appreciate it more than me, who's a huge fan of cats. So to be honest, I was a bit bummed because I was really looking forward to owning one of these, but <laughs> look at me how lucky I am. Being friends with Tarantula Cat means I guess I got another one. These are limited edition, so if you got one of these, you're very lucky when you were able to support her. But thank you so much, Cat. Wednesday is adorable. She's gonna be able to hang out here with my Lucas plush. They're gonna be the best of friends, you know, the cutest spiders you can find around the world. Good old jumping spider and a velvet spider. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so appreciative of our friendship. You and your family mean so much to me and I'm truly touched. I love this. Thank you, Cat. This is so awesome. Now, I do wanna ask you guys, I've been toying with the idea of getting a P.O. box. What do you think? Years ago, I asked you if you thought it was worth it. At the time, I also had a much smaller following, so I wasn't so sure how many of you would be interested in sending me stuff, but I'm thinking maybe it might be worthwhile because a lot of you do ask to send me things, and then we can do little fun segments like this. You know, every so often, I'll go pick everything up from the P.O. box, and we can do a bit of like a mail time thing in my videos. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think it's worthwhile. Awesome. Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's scorpion update and feeding video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. And as always, I can't wait to see you all in another video again soon. If you wanna see more content pertaining to keeping scorpions, check out the playlist up above. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all in another video again soon. Take care.